Hello everyone. In this video, I'll go through the steps how to host a static website using Amazon S3. So first of all, let's just have a quick look at uh, the architecture of uh, what we will be deploying today. So basically, you know, we have a client computer on the left side, which is uh, trying to go to www.vfuton.com. Uh, using the internet and the website is hosted within AWS. Two primary services are used here, which is the S3 bucket where all the uh, the HTML files or the static files are, are stored and Route 53 where the, the zone is hosted. So just a very simple setup for today and uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, through the demo how, how we set up uh, all of that. So just quickly to recap, like the services that are used today are S3, which is basically a cloud uh, object storage service offered by uh, Amazon. It has virtually, you know, unlimited amount of storage space available. It is highly durable, highly available. And the second service we will be using is uh, the Route 53, which is really uh, the, the DNS uh, service uh, offered by Amazon. Again, uh, for this uh, service specifically, AWS has a 100% uptime or or a 100% SLA uh, attached to this service. Uh, so we will be hosting a zone within Route 53. You will see all the steps that are involved. So just listing down the, the steps here before we go and uh, start, uh, uh, you know, uh, performing these things within the AWS management console, just listing out the steps. First of all, uh, you need to have a, a domain name. So I have already went to GoDaddy and registered a domain name called uh, vfuton.com. And so so today we'll start with step two right now, which is you know, creating a S3 bucket, uploading the files to the, to the bucket. And then within the properties of that bucket, uh, we need to enable the static website, so we'll, you will see those things and uh, tell the the S3 bucket where the index.html is and where the uh, the error page is, and then we need to configure a bucket policy. I'll show you why we need to do that and what policy that we are going to use uh, today, and uh, then we will uh, go into Route 53 to configure Route 53 with the hosted zone, creating a uh, a record. And also, uh, I'll show you how you, you need to go into your uh, into your GoDaddy account, or if you're using any other, you know, uh, hosting uh, provider, you need to go there and update the name servers there. All right, so let's begin. Uh, uh, just to uh, kind of highlight here, the bucket policy that I'm going to use is actually also available on my uh, GitHub. Uh, page and here is a link and this will be available in the description of the video as well. All right, so let's start first of all uh, with uh, creating the S3 bucket today. So just to, before we do that, so here is the web page that is right now showing www.vfuton.com. So as you can see, this is just a parked web page by GoDaddy. So there is a, you know, uh, right now, it is just pointing to the GoDaddy name servers, and there is no actual web page or website associated to it. And uh, so, we'll, we'll, it will change. You will we'll see that. So, let's now go and create a S3 bucket first of all. So, the bucket name is going to be the name of your uh, domain that uh, you have www.vfuton.com and I'm going to select uh, the region as US standard all right so let's now quickly first of all upload the files as per our steps that I listed so create we don't need to create folder let's just upload the files so I'm uploading two HTML files here, error.html and index.html. All right, so the upload is complete. Now let's go back. Uh, so the files uh, have been uploaded now. 
let's go back to the properties of uh, this and we need to enable the static uh, website hosting for this. So this is where it says by default it is disabled. So we need to enable uh, the static website hosting and this is where it asks you the name of uh, the index document which is going to be index.html and for error document I have error.html. So we'll save this. Now this is the endpoint name that we can use by default. So basically, if you are not uh, having a registered domain name, this is the endpoint uh, link that you would actually give it to someone or use to, uh, you know, see your web page. Let's just go here. So it gives uh, this error saying 403 forbidden access denied. So the reason for that is because, remember, as I said, we need to create a bucket policy because by default, S3 does not allow a public access uh, to the bucket or to the files and folders. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, uh, so we'll add a bucket policy here. So basically uh, this, just po this policy is really uh, to allow a public read onto your specific bucket and all the files within that bucket. All right, let's now just quickly to, to verify that, uh, go back in here and try this uh, static endpoint name. So right now we have not configured route 53, but we're just trying to make sure that your bucket is now accessible. All right, so here you can see uh, using the endpoint name that Amazon has provided, I can you know reach to this uh, page which says my S3 website hello world this is my first uh, sample website hosted on Amazon uh, S3 all right so this is working so the S3 part is done now and let's now go into route 53 to configure route 53 So we are going to create a hosted zone. If you're doing this for the first time, this is how you will, uh, you know, see. So it is a public hosted zone. So when you create a, a hosted zone within uh, 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 Amazon or within Route 53, what uh, it does is basically it creates a name server uh, record, which is the NS record that you see in here. And it also creates a start of authority record, SOA record for that uh, specific uh, uh, domain, for that hosted zone basically. So what we need to do is now take these name servers and update within godaddy.com to uh, to tell what are what are the the authoritative name servers now so i'm just going to take this here all right it doesn't let me copy from there so try it from here so as you can see i have already you know uh, logged into my uh, godaddy account and by default these are the domain uh, name servers that uh, GoDaddy was pointing to. So I'm going to change that now. So telling it to go to custom. All right, so I have added uh, uh, the, I have added uh, the name servers. And what is left now is we need to create a, a record for www and it's going to be an alias we need to be pointing it to the s3 endpoint all right so that's uh, you know all of that let's now go back in here and uh, see
All right, so as you can see here, I have refreshed the web page and uh, it is now pointing to uh, the index.html that we have uploaded to to the S3 bucket. So it just says here, my S3 website, this is my sample hosted, uh, sample website hosted on AWS S3 and it is uh, going to www.vfuton.com when you go there. So let's now tr try to test the error page. So let's say if I go here and say abc.html. All right, so because that page does not exist, so basically it says, oops, the page does not exist. So that verifies that uh, the error.html is also functioning. One thing I would like to highlight here is that when you try to test it, you might have to wait for some time, maybe two, two hours, three hours or so, because the root DNS servers have to be updated. Uh, before it would start pointing to uh, the AWS uh, Route 53 uh, hosted uh, zone. All right, that's uh, that's all for this video. Thanks everyone. Hope uh, you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.